Hey everyone. So there's been some interesting happenings as of late. You guys probably remember my good friend, Mike Wisnuck, who played drums on numerous demos for me. Well, Mike came across this very interesting Instagram post from Mesa. The quote here is, Jim Root of Slipknot loves his cab clone as his direct feed to front of house on tour. So Mike tagged me and said, I have a different opinion on the subject. Mind you, he didn't say what that opinion was. So Mesa turned around and deleted that comment. Mike left a what? Can't take any criticism line, which they deleted and then banned him. So I got word of this and left a comment stating, wow, it's amazing how fast comments are being deleted here. And sure enough, they deleted that comment and banned me as well. Now, I'm not saying Mesa can't run their Instagram account as they see fit. It's theirs, they can do what they want with it. However, I do question the wisdom of banning someone who's been a customer of theirs since the year 2000 and has given them thousands of dollars over the years. I am the proud owner of a dual rectifier and a rectifier cabinet. They're both fucking excellent pieces of gear that I use day in and day out in my studio. But banning someone for making an observation about censorship is pretty fucked up. Look, I get it. Mesa probably paid Jim Root an awful lot of money for that endorsement. And maybe they actually do hook it up to, to the front of house. It doesn't say in that ad if they actually raise the fader on the board, however, or if he has a mic'd up cabinet running alongside it, which would probably be a good idea as the cab clone is total shit. But they seem to be censoring any kind of comment that doesn't completely support the product. Personally, I just don't get that. With the amount of young people using Instagram, many of those being prospective customers, censoring and banning people just doesn't add up. And it's not a case of somebody using offensive or threatening posts either. Myself, I invite people to comment as they see fit on my videos. Sure, I'm not gonna like everything that people say, but that's what free expression is all about. People saying things we might not like. So, in light of Mesa's aggressive new marketing strategy and the fact that they have a petty wannabe pretend tyrant running their Instagram, I'd like to help them out and offer up a few suggestions for advertising slogans. Maybe they can put these in some guitar magazines and really connect with their potential customers. Check these ones out. Mesa, thanks for all that money. Now shut the fuck up. Mesa, dissenting opinions will be deleted. Now get back down on your knees and worship us, you filthy maggots. And lastly, Mesa, high gain, low tolerance. Now, this is where it gets interesting. A few months back, I did the unforgivable, which is to give something a bad review. Of course, I'm talking about the cab clone. It sounds truly awful, don't waste your money. Anyway, if you look around, you'll find it is damn near impossible to find a bad review on anything music or recording gear related. I'm talking about YouTube, print, whatever. It just doesn't happen very often. Now, I collected recording magazines from about 1996 to 2013. I'm talking EQ, mix, recording, you name it, I bought it. But one day I stopped and when I realized I had literally hundreds of magazines in my possession and not one of them ever printed an unfavorable review. Not fucking once. That's not journalism, that's advertising. And my big question here is why the fuck can't we be honest with each other? Have the manufacturers got everyone by the balls? Is everyone so fucking terrified of these guys that we can't tell the truth? Now, after I put out my cab clone review, I had one friend tell me, nobody is ever going to send you anything ever again. To which I say, that's fine. I can always borrow. Because ultimately, it's one thing to get a great review in a magazine that prints nothing but great reviews but a great review from someone who's not afraid to speak their mind is something very different. And that's my thing. If I like something, I will say so. If I don't, I will say that too. At least you guys will know that when I review something, you're getting the truth. If a manufacturer doesn't want a bad review, then they should build better gear. It's a good bet that Mesa knows the cab clone isn't up to par with the rest of their gear. It doesn't matter how much money they throw at marketing, it's not going to change that fact. But censoring people for having a difference of opinion is just downright un-American. And Mesa, you should be ashamed of yourselves.